save more, earn more, spend less. Easy, right? Well, sometimes it is easier said than done when it comes to managing our money. But have no fear. I'm here to set you off on the right fiscal foot and introduce you to some healthy money habits for 2021. Now, look, let's break this down and keep it really simple. I mean, I know you guys are doing a lot of different things. And the last thing I want to do is add one more thing to your plate that you're feeling like you're going to fail at in a week. So I've created this acronym called RAC. Just think about racking up the money in 2021. And the first one is to review your habits of the past year, as well as all of your subscriptions. So just, this doesn't have to be long, but go ahead and take a look at some of those things that are probably already in your inbox. Your bank sends them, your credit card statements. They kind of break down where your spending is happening over the past year. And sometimes that can be a really big reality check for some of us. You might not think you're spending a lot of money on food, clothes, or even memberships, especially for those of us that have not been leaving the house. But this is the time to really take a step back and see where your money has been going. So R is review. You also want to make sure that you are adjusting your goals for this month. So review for the year, adjust for just this month. Let's not worry about the whole year ahead. What do you want to accomplish in this month? Because that may change. You may have a student that's going off to college. You may be trying to save for a new car. Let's look at what we can do in January and then adjust accordingly. And then finally, I want you to keep track of your receipts for this week. Okay, you got that? So we're reviewing for the year, adjusting for this month, and then keeping track for this week, R-A-K. And all I want you to do is grab an envelope. Look, I've even used envelopes that have been sent to me in the mail and just write January 2020 on, 2021 on it and keep it in your car because I find the majority of receipts that I need to keep up with to track that kind of discretionary spending happens when I'm driving somewhere. So keep this in your car and all I do is I write down some of the things where I have those receipts. So for instance, groceries, eating out, I keep my gas receipts in here, drugstore, Costco, things like that. And I keep my monthly budget at the top of those. And then as I spend them, I put them in the envelope and then I keep track of how my budget is kind of diminishing for the month. And even if you miss a couple, this is gonna give you a really tangible reminder of how you're using your money. Now you may use an app. I'm a pen and paper kind of girl. So this has worked really well for me. Plus when my kids see me doing that, I'm instilling habits for them for their future as well. So that's the number one thing that I want you to do if you do nothing else that I say today. But I also want you to keep in mind that you need to start building back your emergency fund. A lot of us have depleted our emergency fund or our savings with everything that's happened this year. And even if it's just a dollar a week, I want you to be diligent about putting that money away for you. There's a book I just read called Profit First and it really flips everything on, on the head of what we've learned in traditional bookkeeping by making sure that you are taking care of your expenses but also taking care of yourself. And when we're able to do that, not only is our family secure, we're able to be more generous with friends, family, and even organizations and nonprofits that we care about. So start by doing that, and the easiest way to do that is by setting up an account that's going to pull funds from your paycheck directly or you can even set up kind of an ACH so that it goes from that check that comes in into those different accounts. I've done it at a totally different bank this year so I don't even see it when I log on to my normal bank. I've set up a Christmas fund, I've set up a car fund, an emergency fund, a vacation fund, whatever it is you are saving for that's important to you, go ahead and set up those buckets and have them automatically withdrawn so you're not being tempted to pull from it but it's there when you need it. Look, I could go on and on about this. You know it's a passion project of mine, but I want you to do what's going to work for you this week so that you can make a difference this month and end the new year this year in a way different than you did before. Head to SammyCone.com for even more money-saving tips. Before I go, I need you to know to see the new year in a new light. Every new year is a chance for us to reevaluate our goals, our dreams, our habits, our health, our lifestyle. I could go on and on. But in the light of the current state of our world, I'm reminded of how fleeting life can be and how any new goals need to be even more relevant to my day-to-day -day living, especially when it comes to my kids. Not one minute of our lives is guaranteed. Not only do we need to hold our own lives out to God with open hands, but even more so the lives of our children. God's promise is that he will never give us more than we can handle, and he'll be there through it all. I don't have any answers as to why things like COVID, racial injustice, or school shootings happen, but I do know that our God is sovereign and omnipotent.
As you begin this new year, perhaps more cautious and guarded than you've begun any other, I would suggest you do two things. One, start each morning by renewing God's promises. And two, believe God has called you to a higher purpose and start acting like it. Regardless of what resolutions you make, promise to God, yourself, and your children that above all, you will love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Friends, I want to thank each of you for choosing to start your new year with me. I know you can accomplish great things and it's my privilege to partner with you as you believe bigger and better things for yourself and your community this year. Have a great day, make sure you make it great, and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye friends.